What's going on everybody and welcome to a Halite 2018 tutorial series. In this video we're going to be introducing you to the Halite competition as well as writing a very very simple bot. So um, if you're not familiar with Halite, basically it's just a, a competition where it's like you versus one or you versus three other players in a sort of environment and the idea is who can write the best AI. And by AI I mean anything from rule based AI to ML or deep learning. Um, bots. In general, at least historically the last two, uh, the winners, I'm not sure about the first one, I'm pretty sure the winners in the first Halite as well were rule-based, but I might actually be wrong on that, I can't remember. Anyways, but Halite 2 definitely rule-based one. Um, so anyways, um, what we're going to be doing here is just do, making like a really basic bot, but first I just want to talk briefly about the rules or like how it's done. So this, at least this is like a visualization of um, you know, a, game, a single game frame, but basically you've got a bunch of frames and then you start off with just a shipyard, like this green thing here is the green player's shipyard. You can create some ships, these like turtles are your ships, and then you run around and try to collect this halite. And from, each, you know, each ship could hold up to a thousand halite, goes to the, the drop-off, which is either a unique drop-off location, or in this case the shipyard you can also drop off at. Um, and then you just kind of repeat that process. You build more ships, you can get more halite, you could build more drop-offs, but ships cost and drop-offs cost and, and so on. So it gets fairly dynamic, but most of this task boils down to micro and pathing. It's all about the paths. So um, anyways, uh, I, I think that's enough for us to just kind of jump in and uh, run through some information. Now, just in case I forget to mention it at the end, there is um, plenty of, let's see here, learn. Uh, documentation here. You'll also maybe go to downloads and download the Python version for your operating system. Um, so yeah, the Python 3 version for let's say Windows 64, boom, you might want to grab that and look through. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and um, jump in. Also, one more thing, the API documentation. So uh, this just contains information about uh, your game, various commands that you have at your disposal, and so on. But if you do download the Halite 3, I do want to just point it out. Where did I put it? Uh, is it still maybe in download? Yeah. So uh, you could open up my bot. Most of what we're going to run through here is going to be very similar. Um, at least most bots starting off are going to look pretty identical. They're going to have all the same kind of start uh, information. Uh, but you can also go into HLT, which is kind of the uh, API, so to speak, for Python, and you can get more information about what's uh, available to you. I keep going to open with because uh, on my main computer, I have Sublime, and that's what I use. Anyways, and you can kind of see here what various attributes are. You can make drop off and, and like all that stuff. It's probably just a good idea to go through here and read these, but I'm not going to do that together with you guys. I think you can do that. Um, on your own time. So now let's go ahead and uh, run through some code. So I'm going to hit this play here and then go to the editor. If you want to develop locally, you can. Um, and probably in one of the future ones, we will definitely, if we do the, uh, when we get to like ML and deep learning bots, uh, we'll definitely need to do local development because we'll have to train and stuff locally, get a model, then we need to be able to upload that model. And at least right now, or at least last time I looked, CV2 wasn't included, so we'd have to do some other fancy stuff to get that working. But for now, we can click on the editor. Uh, and we will go with Python 3. And let's see what we start with here. Okay, so uh, we start with basically, um, let's see if I can zoom in at all without destroying everything. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Um, so this is just that, that package that I was just showing you. If you download it locally, you can see there are various constant values, things like your how much does a ship cost and, and so on. Uh, you can download, uh, or not download, but you can get the uh, directional, uh, basically just the directions from hlt.positionals. So any ship can move either up, down, left, or right, and these are referred to as north, south, west, or east. Um, so that's those. And uh, random, I think that's just to, to pick a random movement in a moment. Uh, logging, this is your best friend right now because basically the, the entire game is going to happen. 
you've got multiple players playing against each other and many ships. Everything's kind of happening all at the same time. So later on, when things don't go well, you're going to want to have been using logging, kind of like you might use, you know, print statements um, or print functions in your actual code. Now uh, it's it's going to be a little harder to use print. So instead, we're going to use logging and save it to a log file. And then when the game's over, we can go into that log file and, and make sure things are happening the way we intended. So here the game is initialized and then you send in your um, whatever name you want for your bot. Now at this point it's important to note that uh, the two second per turn timer starts. So you have 2000 milliseconds per turn to make all of your, um, your movements. So again with like a deep learning bot it might take longer than two seconds to load in your model. So you would want to have loaded in a model <laughs> prior to game.ready. You might also grab some certain initial game state variables, make some calculations or whatever, and maybe for whatever reason those take longer than two seconds, you would want to do that before you said game.ready. So here, there's just a simple example of a logging, um, logging string. Um, and then begins the game loop. This is just a simple while true loop. Uh, this updates every frame. You're going to have this every single time. This gives you some uh, basic data about uh, the game, what's going on. This has some basic data about the game map itself. Uh, a little bit later, we'll get a little more deeper into, into how that works and stuff. But for now, simple stuff. Command Q. Basically here, um, as you iterate through your ships, you can only you know send your command queue one time. So first you take your command queue, you build, a, you fill it with all your commands. So like if you got five ships, each of those five ships could have a certain command that it's going to do. So uh, we send each of those ships, you know, one command per ship, uh, into the command queue. Now here, it, basically they're just asking, hey, um, if the ship position so where is the ship so if we check the game map so the ship position is going to be a coordinate if that ship positions um so if those coordinates on the game map and then we can check at those coordinates what's the halide amount if that halide amount is less than the max halide which is a thousand divided by 10 or if the ship is full meaning the ship has a thousand halide we want to move that ship. Now, if that's not true, then we want that ship to go ahead and just stay still, continue collecting halide. So, um, so this is pretty basic logic. Now, if we want that ship to move at the moment, it's just going to randomly move, and it's just going to move, you know, north, south, east, or west, just simply randomly. No, no real logic associated with it. It's just going to move. Um, then we come down here. Uh, if if you're in the first 200 turns and you have enough halite, spawn a ship. Uh, don't spawn a ship if you have a pit, uh, ship at port because the ships will collide. Now, if two ships collide, they both sink to the bottom of the ocean and their halite is just kind of released. Um, so you would want to go, you know, like when two ships collide, chances are there's a big pile of halite there, so you'd want to go collect it. But you'd rather your ships don't collide. So, um, okay, so with that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we can just run this real quick possibly my zoom might have uh, screwed some things up let's try <laughs> yeah my zoom messed it up uh, so when we run it uh, here is the replay basically you're just playing yourself in this little replay and then you can also click down here and move up to 10x just so you can kind of see how things went now you can see up here green has um, f somehow 562 I'm not quite sure how that could have occurred we must have accidentally uh, gone over the depot and deposited some <laughs> just by chance. You can also see here two of our ships definitely collided there. Okay, so this is just some like super, super basic and it's just going to be by chance whether or not one of these ships actually goes and deposit deposits some halite. Now when you are ready, um, if you've built everything in here, you can just go and hit submit and that's totally fine. Um, and you'll you'll basically start playing, but you'll probably want to do something a little more complex than this before you submit. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to talk about is you know doing things like intentionally making drop-offs and maybe moving around slightly more logically. <laughs> so, anyways, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, up to this 
point, uh, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you guys in the next tutorial where uh, hopefully we, we do a little better than we have here. Till next time.